for another dude And now your heart is empty Feeling so confused Now you want me back Trying to reattach Begging please on your knees Trying to suck me back But you done broke my heart Into a million pieces I should have seen it coming Wish I had telekinesis I said you broke my heart Into a million pieces I can't love you but I can Till you call me Jesus I'm in love with you But it ain't the same Girl, I sip the goose And that ain't gon' change You telling me, telling me I'm doing wrong Doing wrong Wanna lock me up Wanna lock me up So I'm gone So I'm gone I love the party Love the party Love the club Love the club I want your body I want your body Not your love you get the point now we'll speed up a little bit also color the windows because we will make effects that will make them darker and uh, more realistic to the whole image after you after you've done this uh, use a clone stamp tool uh, because we were we have a reflection of a boat in a window and we don't want that this time it will be enough to remove this uh, white line uh, clone the closest colors near the line and uh, use soft brush. If you're asking how to clone, well, it's quite simple. Press Alt key and uh, left click on location that you want to clone. Then release the Alt key, press, hold and drag on location that you want to color. It clones the area around the plus, so if your plus comes on the white line, it will be cloned. So pay attention where is your plus. After you have removed the line, zoom out and see your results. Now we have also one more white line that I think it's uh, too bright. So use a brush tool, change opacity between 30 and 40 percent and color it with the same color that we used for our car and that's uh, FF001. Okay. Now let's select pen tool and start with creating paths around the windows like we have created before around the car. First we're going to start with a bigger window. After you have closed the path, this time we will not inverse selection because we want that this window is in the selection. In, uh, the, ne in the next step you can uh, copy selection and paste the new layer then use fill effect layer or you can make fill effect layer on original layer my advice is to work on original layer only if you can edit that fill effect layer like we can in this situation otherwise make it separately from uh, original layer click on uh, fill adjustment effect layer and uh, select uh, gradient there change both colors to black left black color should be set on 19 percent of opacity and the one of, on the right should have opacity on 31 percent scale it to 120 percent check reverse box and check box align with layer if, if it's not uh, checked then press ok 
repeat the, this procedure uh, on um, second window like we have done it on this. It's time to create car lights. For start, select polygonal lasso tool, then imagine how the lights should be directed and create selection as mine. After that, create a new layer by pressing Ctrl Shift plus N and color selected area with any color you like, because it uh, really doesn't matter, the main fill of this layer will be set it on 0%. Now, right click on layer 1 and select uh, blending options and set all like I have done it. Now in this step uh, add a layer mask on a layer 1. Click on the layer mask uh, and uh, modify the light by using a soft type of brush with decreased opacity. And tones black for hiding light and white that will unhide uh, hide light. This is the great way to form a light as you want and don't uh, have to worry what if I delete a part of light uh, then I will have to use color of the light to restore it and so on. What I was trying to say it's, uh, is that a layer mask is uh, helping to keep your job simple and clean. When you finish with uh, modifying light uh, duplicate it four times and uh, place it on uh, other lights, on other car lights um, play with the brushing, opacity of, of, opacity of um, the layer mask, changing, uh, changing the size of the brush and so on to get results that you would like to have. Now, now I will uh, speed up uh, progress a little bit, just follow the instruction that I gave you and pay attention. The stripes on the car that should be black are dark orange. We're going to fix this problem by using pen tool and selecting one stripe at a time. Once the stripe is selected, click on Fill and Fact Adjustment layer and select black and white. The main colors that you have to change are reds and yellows. The other colors will not uh, do any changes. So, red set on 34% and yellows on 38%. Repair this progress on other stripes. And that's about it. Last thing that we have to do is create car reflection. First we're going to use crop tool or you can use cam size that you can find under image tab to enlarge the height of the image. Then select all layers except the lights and duplicate them. After you've done that, merge them. Then select moving tool, click on one transforming line and change 100% height to minus 100% height. Press enter to confirm the new position of this layer. Then select polygonal lasso tool, cut the side part of the car from the front. Now when you have them separated, go on edit, transform and select skew and transform them like I did. After you've done this, give to both layers full black gradient. Left black color must have maximum opacity. Under settings, middle one must have a medium opacity and right black color must have minimum opacity but not less than 5%. Take a crop tool to crop on original size that we had before and that's about it. Thanks for watching. For more cool tutorials, visit me on crowddesigner.com. Cheers.